What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I hope everyone's staying safe out there uh, from the coronavirus. You know, uh, right now I'm also, yep, quarantined in my house, uh, just like basically the rest of the world. And so getting to do some fun projects around here, one of them that I'm going to show you guys today. So it's actually uh, a project that is in one of my engineering classes. Uh, we, the project assignment is to build a bridge that spans 18 inches made out of paper and scotch tape. Um, so the bridge, I'm going to just kind of, I already built it, um, already made it, but I'm going to just kind of give you guys like a rundown of it. And then, uh, we're going to test it too, because the goal for this bridge is, uh, that it can hold five pounds. Um, requirements basically are just, you can use 20 sheets of paper and one full roll of scotch tape. So, uh, let's get, Let's get looking at this bridge. Um, as you can see here, we have an 18 inch gap. Uh, I ended up uh, basically underestimating how much tape I was going to need for the design. So basically I ended up using less, I didn't use the full 20 sheets of paper is what I'm trying to say uh, because I ran out of tape. I ended up only using like 12 or so sheets of paper. But it's okay because here's our design. This is so um, we have all these layers here of tape, or excuse me, all these layers of paper. Um, we started just taping each individual layer, and I backed each layer up a little bit so that way I could tape them all directly to the table instead of having all that overlap. And then to make up for it in the middle, I put on these extra, I cut out these extra pieces. Um, I kind of had like a scrap piece I used. And then, so basically I think there's 10 layers on the bottom here. So that's like 10 separate pieces of tape, all keeping that down. Then you see these like pillars here. These are just um, little chunks of paper folded up into triangles uh, really tightly and then taped together and just sort of make like a pillar. Um, you've got a little bit of suspension, a little bit of tension going on here with that piece of tape. We have a couple rolls on the top, just tightly rolled pieces that kind of act as support beams. And then we have more tension going on here with the tape that connect. Uh, same thing on the other side, obviously, as this side. Uh, we have all this tension here. And then when, when we test it here, you know, it's going to pull down this way. There's going to be... Uh, there's going to be tension compression here. Obviously, I'm not I'm not an engineer yet. I don't really know what I'm doing. This is just uh, I'm I'm a first year student. Like this is just trial and error type thing, basically. But uh, my plan for testing it is to have a bucket, just hang it on there, and then have sand pour in the sand, like gradually increase the weight until it breaks, and then I'll just weigh the bucket after, and we'll see. Uh, I mean, the requirement, yeah, five pounds is the requirement. I'm going to hope to double that, triple that, maybe 10, 15 pounds. We'll see what happens. I mean, uh, yeah, this will be interesting.
Wow. <laughs> okay, so uh, basically the bridge did uh, very well, surprisingly well. Um, I mean, it held 20 pounds. I didn't actually anticipate that. Uh, the biggest problem would be finding something that could hook the bucket on there that wouldn't break. I assumed the bridge would break before that. So, I mean, that was, that was, uh, that was fun. And yeah, this was overall a really fun project. Um, giving me something to do while being locked inside the house. Um, but yeah, with all this going on, just, uh, hope y'all stay healthy out there and keep liking and subscribing and doing all your YouTube stuff, whatever it is that you kids do these days. I don't know. I'm a kid, so whatever. I should stop talking. Have a good day.